Hello, by Charles Hoyfort, Part 2, Chapter 20. Professor Todd, in his book, Stars and Telescope, says, Astronomy may be styled a very aristocrat among the sciences, for similar descriptions, by implications, of themselves, by themselves, see all other books by astronomers. There are aristocratic human beings, I'll not contend otherwise. There are aristocratic dogs, and all cats, except for relapses, are aristocrats. There are aristocratic goldfish, in whatever is bred, is the tendency to aristocraticize. Porcupines, as the untouchable and the stupid, are very aristocrats than the merely very. The aristocratic state is supposed to be the serene, the safe, and the established. It is unintelligent, because intelligence is only a means of making adaptations, and the aristocratic is the maid. If this state of the relatively established and stupid were the really, or finally, established and stupid, we'd see good reason for the strivings and admiration and imitations of strugglers, climbers, or newcomers to stabilize themselves into stupors. But, in phenomenal being, the aristocratic, or the academic, is, though thought of as the arrived, only a poise between the arriving and the departing. When far advanced it is the dying, wherein it is a goal, our existence is, though only locally, suicidal. The literature of the academic ends with the obituary. Professor Todd's self-congratulation is my accusation. But there is only relative aristocracy. If I can show that, relatively to a viewpoint other than the astronomer's own way of adoring themselves, the supposed science of astronomy is only a composition of yarns, evasions, myths, errors, disagreements, ghosts, superstitions, guesses, and bamboozlements, I am spreading the good cheer that it is still very faulty and intellectual and alive, and may be able to adjust and keep on exciting its exponents with admiration for themselves. We shall see what mathematical astronomy is said to start with. If we can't accept that it ever fairly started, we'll not delay much with any notion that it could get anywhere.